It seems like we use our phones for everything nowadays, from social media to banking, taking photos, listening to music, sending hilarious memes to friends. But it might, or it might not surprise you to know that you can use your phone for every aspect of your training to maximise the benefits you get out of running. Some are going to be obvious, but some might just spark a thought in you and make you see things in a different way. So let me take you through my process of thinking. The first thing is that I am well aware there are thousands of apps out there, maybe even million, no there's not millions, that's stupid, but there's a lot of apps for runners, right? And I'm not gonna be able to cover every app and I don't want to, so what I've done is I've selected three per category and I've selected five categories to guide you through your day, the process I would take through my day or through my running journey from the start to where I'm at now. These are suggestions to spark conversation, spark thought. If you know of apps, if you use apps that are better than the ones that I'm suggesting in your opinion, put them in the comments for sure. I am always looking for apps that I've never heard of. I'm looking for suggestions that I can then kind of suggest to other people. That's how this, that's how this world works. Is magpie ideas given to other people. That's the beauty of this. So you know I'm big on metaphors. So let's start with this one. Let's think about the start of the day, the before the run, but also in the wider context of the start of your journey. If we think about it logically, before you even run, you might not know how to, and you might want some guidance. I've picked three levels of cost or apps depending on your needs and where you're at. And of course, this is all assuming you don't want to follow one of my training plans for all distances. I'm just saying. But if you're right at the start and you need a bit more guidance and motivation, then in the UK there is a free NHS Couch to 5K app that actually talks you through the sessions as you run and it plans the weeks out for you and I'm absolutely certain that there will be apps in various countries that achieve the same thing. But if you're not right at the start of your journey and you're looking for perhaps your first sense of structure, then an app like Run Coach might be for you. It's a free app for the basics like an adaptable but generic training plan and it's syncs with most smartwatches, but if you want to level up and get a little bit more specific with your sessions and structure, then it's about $20, which is about 15 quid per month, and that would get you a one-to-one -one coach and all of the things that come with that. When you're looking at a more holistic approach at this point, then I'd look at an app or platform like My Motive, and this is the brainchild of Taron Gassel, who you might know as Triathlon Taron, and he's very similar to us at This Messy Happy, really believes in training for life, and we talk about a lot of the same things on our channels. So an app like My Motive is a combination of training plans, strength workouts, nutritional advice, social media platform. You can train for running or cycling or swimming or triathlon and there's a wealth of resources on there to help. And yet yeah, it does come in at 57 US dollars per month which is about 43 quid. But if you think about what a full-time personal coach costs you then this is well within the affordable zone if you're at that point. So you've got yourself out of the door, metaphorically or literally, and you are out on your run. Plan or no plan, coach or no coach, that bit doesn't matter. You need to think of a way to record your run, and you might not yet be in a place to use a smartwatch, and that's okay because phones can do so much now. And I'm gonna suggest three of the most popular apps that runners use to record and store their data, because we all know a run didn't happen if it's not out there to show others, right? And as with almost every app that's out there now for runners, there is usually a free version, and then there's usually a paid version that gives you more information or access to more parts of the app. But I'm gonna give you the basic free version and then you can make the decisions from there. And the first one is Nike Running Club app. Now this was really one of the first apps that was out there a long, long time ago and it's gone through a lot of iterations. It's really evolved and it's turned into a kind of social media featured training app with music. It's very integrated, it integrates to other platforms, but it's, it's simple to use and the free version is, well, it's free. And a similar equivalent and actually, Probably the app that I used the first, when I first started training long, long time ago, was Runkeeper. It was called Runkeeper, and I now see that it's been kind of taken in by ASICS, so it's the equivalent to Nike. Again, it's a social media platform as well as a way to record your run and have a look back at your data and keep you motivated with some goals and some aims, but it's a very well-known and popular app. 
that could well be worth exploring. But absolutely number one in the list because I know that most people use it and it is a great way of tracking your swimming, your running, your cycling, your triathlon, being a social media platform, having an upgrade where you get a lot more data and you get to learn about your fatigue and your fitness and that is, as I'm sure you'll probably have guessed, Strava. It's a really popular app we're on it so you could find us but so many people are on it and it's a great motivational tool as well as again a way of tracking your run during the moment and having a look at the data after the fact but if you're the type of person that hasn't yet built up the confidence to get yourself out onto the roads and that's absolutely fine sometimes it takes time and you're training in the gym maybe on a treadmill or you have a treadmill at home then fear not there are options for you as well. And I'm gonna give you three virtual running apps that are extremely motivational, but perhaps in different ways. And the first app that started out as for cyclists, but has now become for runners as well, is called Zwift. And it basically puts you into a virtual world called Watopia, where you can run or cycle up mountains or on flat. You can go to France, you can go to New York. There are people all over the world literally training at the same time as you. you can can race, you can train together, you can train with the pros. There really are a lot of options with Zwift. And yes, it does cost money, but it is not over expensive. We're probably talking about 12 pounds a month, something in that region. And you know, you get to design your own little avatar of you, which is pretty cool. But if you're looking at a more coached option, as in you don't want to necessarily motivate yourself, but you're looking at the coached option by an actual human, then Peloton really took off during lockdown. It's, this is something that really became big when we first went into the lockdowns in 2020. There are running machines, there are cycling machines, and you have the benefit of being coached by an actual instructor on the other side. You can see their face, they encourage you, but that is an option of being coached whilst you're still in your house. But if you want to get out on the street and you want to still feel like you're making a difference, then there is an app called Charity Miles in which charities donate money based on the amount of mileage you cover whilst you're out there. So you're raising money for charity just by being part of the app, just by exercising through it, which is a really nice way of feeling like you're making a difference and giving back by exercising in itself, which I quite like the idea of. And just an extra one, if you're a complete weirdo, then there is an app called Zombie Run, which is essentially you listen through your headphones and you're doing lots of missions to survive a zombie invasion. You could not pay me to do that and you have to pay to do it. But I know there are some people out there that are, uh, that's just, you're just really weird. Like, oh, all right, now we get into it. How much of a data geek are you? Like, I'm a mega data geek. Not gonna lie, absolutely love looking at all of the historical data that I've accrued. And there is an app, and it's a really small app. Basically, no one uses it because it's quite limited in terms of the users that can use it. So for example, it's iOS only, so that rules you out. If you're an Android user, you can't use this. But it also only uses data from either Garmin Connect or Strava. So if you have either of those two, then you're golden. But it is a fantastic app. I just want to show you this. It's called Connect Stats, and I'll show it to you here. But it is amazing. I can see all of my workouts all the way back to about 2012 and it gives me my historical yearly mileage that I cover in cycling, in running, in swimming, it shows me it monthly if I want, like there is so much I can do with this data, I absolutely love it, it gives me such comparison year on year, I can even see if my heart rate average goes down or up per year which is, I just absolutely love it. So if you're a real data geek and you want something, I don't know if it's free anymore, it used to be free, but I think it's something like $1.99 in dollars, then Connect Stats is your way. And of course the completely free apps are apps like your Garmin, your Sunto, your Coros, your Apple, all of the apps that are built around the watch that you wear that are integrated with that, that give you the information from your workouts. You know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, these are good apps. But the Mac Daddy of information, the one that is my go-to as a coach, the one that is a go-to as an athlete, and again, this has a free and a paid option, is a platform called Training Peaks. And it's a coaching platform, and I use it to do all of my coaching, 
but you can look at it as an athlete and even with the basic version you can see your levels of fitness you can see how tired you are with the paid version the premium version you can see all sorts you can see your historical fatigue and your historical training stress when you've had big loads of a week when to dial it back when to push on you can interact with a coach on there if you do have one it is a real place for data geeks like me to get my geek on I mean the amount of information that you can get out of training peaks is superb so if you like that kind of thing you could even try the free trial I think they give you a 7 or a 14 day free trial to have a look around so training peaks is the platform for me as a coach and it's the platform for me as an athlete but I, I appreciate it costs money and not everyone wants that you can get really decent information even from Strava now in grouping five is going to be things outside of your running sphere outside of the norm and I'm gonna rattle through them I'm gonna throw these things at you so be ready number one strength and conditioning it's not quite an app but it's a website called dynamic runner and it provides you all of your strength and conditioning stretching flexibility needs things that you definitely need to do as well as your running but you might not know how to do and how about good eating apps we love BBC Good Food. It's a really good website, provides lots of meals, easy to cook, nice and quick, nice and healthy. You can't go wrong with BBC Good Food. But perhaps the biggest bang for the buck app and something that is not necessarily appreciated by new runners just yet, and maybe they don't want to just yet, but apps like HRV4 Training, which is a heart rate variability measurement device if you have an aura ring you might have seen aura rings this is not one this is actually just my wedding ring but aura rings and whoop bands they do the same thing and a lot of watches do that now they measure your heart rate variability and what your heart rate variability is it is the difference between each beat in time so when you're not stressed when you're having a lovely day and work is okay and training is okay your heart's quite relaxed it might be if you say it beats 60 times per minute, it might be 1.1 seconds difference, then 0.9, it bounces around, it's chilled. But if you're stressed, your body releases stress hormones and that regulates your heartbeat. And that could be that it beats every one second for a minute. And this heart rate variability app can pick up on that. It knows when you're stressed and not just training stress, but life stress. And it advises you to dial your training back if needs be. I can't speak highly enough of this. It got me through my Ironman training. I listened to it. And when it told me to skip a session or when it told me to dial a session back intensity wise, I did and I managed to avoid major injury or illness all the way to my Ironman. I cannot speak highly enough of it. I'll link a different video that explains more about it here right now. And two little additional bonuses, something for the mind, because come on, this channel is a lot about the psychology behind running and finding the joy as well. Headspace and calm, two motivational, meditational, calming apps that teach you how to be in control of your thoughts and I think it's worth just chucking them in right there because running isn't just about the physical, it is about the mental as well. Ultimately, I hope that this video, what it's achieved is it's just given you a different way of thinking, maybe a different perspective and it might have given you a different app that you'd never heard of to explore. I think there's something there to cater for everyone. Now over here, I am going to give you, I'm going to push this again, this is my ultimate beginner to marathon training plan. Whatever level you're at, literally whether you're at half marathon, 10k, 5k, you can jump into this plan and you can get yourself to the next level. It's fully interactive, downloadable, clickable links, the works. So wherever you are, if you don't yet have a coach and you want to dabble in structure, this is the plan for you, click that. And I've also linked my first London Marathon as well, in case you wanted to, wanted to watch that again if you just got into the London Marathon. Big race is coming up. I'm running an ultra marathon this weekend. Mary's running a 25K trail race. Gonna be brutal. Stick around on the channel to watch that because it might not be pretty. And thanks for watching.